live in Studio B on WNCW this afternoon. I don't know. I had a lot of lot of words, you know, hits. Like think about, like just you know, you you teach songwriting. Maybe you can pick up something from you know a rank amateur. You know, like think of like lyrics like "baby, baby, baby." Right. You know, that's a that's a hit. Na 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 na. na. <laughs> I'm thinking of uh, the, the meme of the comparison of Justin Bieber lyrics to Frank Sinatra lyrics. Like, the Justin <laughs> Bieber lyrics, baby, 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 and the Frank Sinatra lyrics. Yeah, although you just move over genre to hip hop, and there's lots of words. That's there, true. You know. Yes. And that, and to me, that's really closer to folk music in the way that it's used in our society than folk music is. Like folk music is this really kind of very small group of people that it reaches, but but hip hop is you know it reaches so many people and it's shared among people and people have kind of use it to communicate with each other and to me that's really more the folk idiom. So what else is next in the future of Jonathan Bird and? Any- so Paul and Johnny and I, the Jonathan Bird and the Pickup Cowboys, we have recorded an album, and literally on the last day of recording. Uh, Paul called us to tell us that he had been diagnosed with a brain tumor and he was going to the hospital. So we just, we just put, the, uh, put the hard drive on a shelf and we're waiting to see how long we get to keep Paul, what's going on with that, and we're, we're not going to put the record out or do anything with that until we know more about what's going on. Like I said, he's doing really great right now, um, but it's hard to... You, you can't really look into his brain and get a lot of information while they're doing treatment. So we have to wait until the treatment's over, and then they reevaluate, and we'll see what's going on with that. Yeah, I wish him all the best. Yeah, it's a great sound and record. We really, I think it's, I think we've done an amazing job with it, and we wanted to stay true to the trio sound, but add a little bit of ear candy, and so there's no drummer on it. That was really cool, figuring out ways to kind of pick the rhythm up without having a drummer, and uh, we learned a lot as musicians doing that record. Well, going back to Mother Tongue, this was a record that I learned today wasn't necessarily released in the United States as much as it just sort of came out somewhat on its own. It caught you by somewhat Well, last by year we released it in Europe, and it was actually, this year it was nominated for two Danish music awards, one for Best Album and one for Best Songwriter for a song that MC and I wrote together. MC, by the way, is playing that cool claw hammer track on Natural Supernatural. So that's a Danish guy who's playing the claw hammer track, which is so cool. He's great. And um, so it came out in Europe and it's it's done well over there. And I, I brought it back with me, but I didn't really release it. It was just an import that I had at my shows. Um, but I did give it to Waterbug Records, who's the record label that represents all my stuff. And um, I guess Andrew sent everyone, or maybe a short list of great radio stations sent this CD out. Uh, so only maybe a week ago, I started noticing DJs talking about this record. I was like, how did, I was actually emailing them, like, how did you get this record? You know? So it's, it's pretty cool. And I'm thinking from now on, actually, this is my promotional MO, is I'm gonna, I'm not releasing anything. I'm, I'm never gonna release another record. I'm just gonna kind of put it in my garage, and yeah. the next thing you know, everybody's got it, and they will beat a path to your door. This yeah. is the way now. Yeah, you have to come to my house to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's such a thinking person's album. This record, it's it's deep. We, you know the philosoph- philosophical uh, angles that, that all of those pathways that you can go down. But there are so very many people that resent being made to think. Hmm. Hmm. So luckily, there's a lot of good songs that that mm. kind of kind of you don't have to think so hard if you don't want to. Yeah, I, I think that's the thing about folk music too. What I think of as folk music is music that makes you think. And people who listen to folk music or to hip hop in that kind of folk music way, they're listening for the ideas and they want those ideas. Whereas pop music, people want to escape reality. They want to not think. They've been thinking all day. I just want 30 minutes where I don't have to think. And they just put on some pop music and it sounds really sweet and nice. And that has its purpose too. But I think people that go looking for ideas um, and looking for a conversation, they're going to enjoy this record.